All right, this wasn't supposed to be my first YouTube video, but since I keep getting so many requests on it, let me uh, tell you how this video came into play. So on the Discord, the Rocket League sideswipe, I went into content promotion, I think it was, and I started just posting some old highlights that I did. And basically, uh, I get DMs every now and again, and people are like, can you teach me? So, I decided, all right, I guess this is some motivation to try and start YouTube again. Long story short, here's the Discord. And he ended up uh, doing a live video, and I watched him. And you can see, I believe I watched him, and then I started telling him what he needed to do. And after I disconnected from the live video, he got really excited. And I believe he got to the ceiling. Yeah, so he got to the ceiling. Um, original video is by Finn, I believe. Um, I found this video actually watching John Sandman. And I decided to try to learn it. I did everything in the video. Took me uh, two days to figure it all out. I did one week just trying it and almost got there. And then I did another week. If you go to my Twitch, um, you can see both of them. But I'm just going to go ahead and I guess explain how this works. And this is for uh, touch people, not controllers. When you first start, you're going to want to have a car, relatively big car. Um, on this account, I don't have the Merc, which is what I first attempted it on. So all I did was I went into free play. I went to Dunk House, I watched the video, uh, and this is basically what I figured out. So you have to aerial, but you can't move your thumb, right? So you go one, two, three, and after the third one, jump, okay? So one, two, three, jump. You want to do it like that. Then, one, two, three, jump, jump. Okay? You want it just like that. You don't want to be moving forward. You don't want to be moving backward. So, the tricky part is when do you time your flip reset? Because if you do it too early, you do this. If you do it too late, then you do a power shot. So, this is the first step. Just try to do it like so. So, the ball's bouncing, drive up to it, one, two, three, jump, double jump. You're also going to want to do this. You want to get as close to the ball as possible, so then that way you can start practicing your lineup. I normally go one, two, three, let it bounce. I make it look easy. Trust me, it's not. Once you can manage to do that, 
the next step is to do the first jump, okay? So remember, step one, jump. Step two, you're probably going to end up doing that, is jump again. Now what I do, because I'm on touch and I'm playing an iPad, I literally plant my thumb to the analog. And the reason why I do three taps is because if you try to do one, two, and then jump. One, two. It, it just, it won't work out, okay? So one, two, three, jump. So... One, two, three, one, two, three, jump. There you go. There's, I've never done this in a match, okay? But it can be useful if you can get the bounce. So after you learn how to do that, go into training and go into um, short stack. And basically, the other thing to point out is the joystick anchor should be either short or medium. You don't need it long. Personal preference, I guess. But. To do it, you're going to want to just pop the ball, let it go on your car. You don't want to bounce it though, you want it to just go on your car in the middle. It's going to take some practice because the ball is actually moving. Which is why you have to do the triple tap before you attempt. As you can see, I'm even having difficulty. Ball's gonna go forward on you. The ball's gonna go backwards on you. It's not just something you're gonna do on the first try. You're going to do that a lot. I did that a lot. In fact, I haven't even done this in a while. There it goes. Before I end this video, I'm just going to show a couple of things that I invented. So the first thing is, I call it, I don't have a name for it, I call it the, um, the torpedo, okay? So, one thing people probably don't know about is when you go up the ramp, you can actually boost, and you can power boost and keep your jump, right? Now, if you do it like that, you're obviously not going to be able to do it, which happens to me all the time. So right here is the cutoff, okay? If you go any higher, you're going to lose your jump. So let's say I'm doing a kickoff, right? 1v1. I go like this, go... I can't really do it because uh, my hands are sweating. 
but I would go like this. And I would just practice just going like that. And once you can do it and keep your flip, then you can do a power hit. This normally sets you up for a pop up, which I've done a lot. So if they try to pancake it, right? And you do this, what's going to happen is you're going to smash the ball in between the two cars. The ball is going to go straight up. Since you like this, you'll actually be able to get a second touch, win the kickoff, and score a goal. But it's, like I said, hard to pull off. That's basically the shot. But when you do the flip, you want to hit it upwards, not downwards. Anyways, I guess video, I don't want it to be too long, but I've had plenty of shots of doing it and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah. There you go. I can't make a video longer than 15 minutes until I hit 100 subs again, so. I will show how to do it one more time. So we'll go into poop. One, two, three. You can see that the ball went forward. One, two, three. You can see why I only do three. That's going to happen to you a lot at first. That happened to the guys I was trying to shoot to them. It's easier to let the ball bounce once. There you go. Like, comment, subscribe.